and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Geminis. This message won't apply to everybody, so just take what does and leave what don't. And uh, make sure you check out all your other signs as well. All right, gems, let's see what we got here. All right, the Wheel of Fortune is your first card out. Could feel like your luck is changing. Let's see what else we got here that just flew out. We got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. It's definitely you feel like your luck is changing. Let's see here. All right, we got temperance. Way too many. Nine of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords. Bottom of your deck and shared energy is the Two of Pentacles. Clarify or yeah, clarified with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. Six of Wands follows that. So success is in your near future with whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. In your shared energy, you're kind of going back and forth about what you should or what you want to be doing. Um, just trying to balance life out. You could have had a recent breakup that kind of threw you out of balance. Because you do have the Three of Swords here as well, but it is in the reverse. And by you healing this, um, healing your you know, broken heart, your sadness, you are manifesting somebody who is going to have a lot of, um, the, the two of you are going to share a lot of feelings for each other. So like I said, you feel your luck is changing. You could have met a Sagittarius. You got two Saggy cards here. Um, but most definitely you have a completed cycle of something. You just ended a relationship or a job. Something just ended um, because the Wheel of Fortune is a cycle of something, a complete karmic cycle. And now you have a new beginning here. Um, you're taking some time though um, before you have this new beginning just to really take the time to heal, to be you, to do what it is that you've wanted to be doing, to be independent, to gain that confidence. Um, and somebody could want to move something forward and you're, uh, you're just taking a little bit of extra time. Not wanting to offer just yet or too soon is what I'm hearing. So you're really just taking some time to yourself. Um, both these cards are going within. Taking the time to spiritually heal um, before you move forward. You are, however, wow, another Sagittarius card. You are, however, going to move forward and offer um, love to somebody or somebody's coming forward with you. Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. My goodness, I can't believe all this energy. We do also have Taurus here. That's the only other major arcana besides uh, Virgo. But I feel that's your energy. These are all your energy, uh, Gemini. But there is a new beginning, a new opportunity. This is somebody, judgment is past life. So this person is destined to be in your path. This person is destined to come um, come into your life. And the, and the two of you have this new beginning together. This is somebody who has children already, more than likely. Or uh, this could be vice versa. But, Wow. Yeah, this person most definitely, more than likely had a family at one point in time that they walked away from due to a completion of a cycle. So they do provide for themselves. They are very independent. They they have children for some of them, but they know how to love and nurture a family environment. Um, but they had to walk away from something as well um, in their past.
Isis Three of Swords here in reverse. They also have been through a lot, a lot of heartbreak in their past, but it brought them to a place. Look at that. They are a very strong person, very strong willed. Um, they have been through a lot of heartache that they walked away from. They're very connected to the divine as well um, and a business owner. This is a very uh, specific, detailed um, reading. They are at a crossroads themselves. They know that you could make them happy and you know that you could make them happy or they could make you happy, but you're both just making plans. But both of you are feeling this hesitation. Both of you are scared. You could have both just gotten out of relationships where you both were hurt by separate people. I don't feel this is a connection that has been together in this lifetime because judgment is past life um, in this deck for me. Anyways, uh, both of you are wanting in the outcome. You have temperance, the page of swords, the nine of pentacles. So both of you are wanting to gain this uh, balance and healing before you jump too fast. Yep. Wow. Another card of healing. You want to heal and find that balance before you move forward too fast. This is, however, going to move forward with a lot of success. Um, Prince of Swords and Page of Swords. The two of you need to open up communication. Um, communication is key and will bring you that success. Um, they could be keeping an eye on you from a distance or you them. Um, but this person really just honors your beauty, honors your 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 pureness your honesty, your, your, you know, your beauty inside and out. Um, wow. Look at that truth. No more confusion by the end of the day. No more confusion about where this is going to go. Um, look at that. King of cups is clarifying your bottom of the deck with the two of pentacles. So you're going back and forth about whether or not to trust this person with your heart. The Wheel of Fortune is clarifying the Queen of Cups. So now we have the King and Queen. Wheel of Fortune here twice. Things are changing. Things are moving together. Um, manifesting. Coming out of the cold. Starting a new cycle. Um, Nine of Pentacles is under that. Holy cow. So yeah, this is a this is going to turn into a uh, relationship. A very passionate, loving relationship. Um, right now you're kind of hesitating because everything seems to be changing. Everything is different. Um, and you just want to make sure that you have that inner peace, that inner balance, uh, knowing what you want and going after it. But this most definitely is a beautiful blessing in your life, Gemini, that you are going to move forward and make this love offer, um, too. So, all right, let's get your card of advice for the day. All right, Gemini. Thank you. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selfishness, humil humility, and conscious action. So, make sure you are doing your service, giving yourself to a higher purpose, to a higher, to a good, a greater good for the collective. Um, but most honest, but most importantly. Make sure you are giving your gratitude to the universe for all the blessings you have. You have big, beautiful blessings about to like windfall in your life. So make sure you are grateful for them so they will manifest for you. All right, Gemini, have a beautiful, beautiful day. I will see you next time. God bless.